Thank you. Can you put it down there, baby? Is that big enough? Holy shit, why is it so big? They were talking about not eating out as much and eating healthy. She likes to just eat what she wants in moderation, you know? Careful! I'm getting Panda Express. Destiny's gonna be getting Taco Bell. And that's that. I don't think Destiny's gonna be the only one getting Taco Bell. We've been waiting for like over five minutes because my orange chicken wasn't done yet. She's expecting it to be done in two and a half minutes. Why do they call it Panda Express? Like, I'm not eating Panda. And how many cinnamon lines do you want? How many does it come in? For a dollar, there's two. For a dollar, she's got it's four. Four. And then I need four Cinnabon Delights. And we only got some Cinnabon Delights here to go with her orange chicken. My orange chicken wasn't done yet. Well, Alicia said thank you. Usually it's I need and I want. Uh, Becky would do that. Um, I need, um, yeah. I need, um, I need and I want, um, I just need. Come January, I will be eating a lot healthier. So purely right now, I'm just gonna try making better choices. I actually. So yeah, that was the plan for December. She was just gonna make better choices. And it seems to be that she's gonna do that here in January as well. But this time she has a goal. I don't really want to simmer in this too much. I weighed in at 4.50 on January 1st. I did my way in. I just wanted to let you guys know that I weigh 441.0. Alright, so that was a nine pound gain in December. In December of 2014, she did the same thing where she wasn't dieting in December and she put on some weight. You can watch my last weigh in video if you guys want to know how much weight I gained. Today I weighed in at 369.4. It is a lot, I know, but I do not remember what that was and I wish I did, but I do not remember. At that point, she was still living with Crystal. So it was a little easier to try to do the healthy lifestyle than it would be with Destiny. I want to lose 120 pounds this year. The reason why I chose that amount is because 331 is the lowest weight I've ever been. When she puts these great big goals on herself, it could be a little overwhelming. The only thing I'm changing about my eating is eating less and I took out regular soda from my diet. I am going to be eating still whatever I want, just tracking them calories. My orange chicken wasn't done yet. Four. And then I need four Cinnabon Delights. As for how many, I'm just purely going with how many calories my fitness pal is giving me. Not adding any exercise. This is purely just like my January goals, just counting calories. No normal soda. I can eat whatever I want. I'm not adding exercise. I work a lot. Already my feet hurt all the time. My heel hurts all the time. My ankle, my back, like my back. And some other 2016 goals that I have for myself is I want to try saving money better and not spending money all the time. I just like want to be a better person inside and out. That's just the main thing. I love resolutions. I guess you can call it that. I am horrible at goals, horrible at resolutions. I never, ever, ever fall through. But I don't really want to call it that. I just want to like better myself. We're going to meet Twinkie Star here for the first time. Yeah, she does need a sweater. Like, we're trying to get Twinkie Star to go potty, but she just won't go. She's so cold. We're gonna have to get her a sweater. I know, like, a lot of people are like, that's animal cruelty to put animals in clothing, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want her to be cold out here. Honestly, it's pretty cold for Florida. Thank God I prefer the cold. I don't think Twinkie Star does. Twinkie's probably just excited that she's outside getting some fresh air before you put her in the house for a few hours while they go to work. All right, I'm gonna go off to work. To I love you. I love you, baby. We got Jurassic Park from Redbox. I have been wanting to see this so freaking bad. Destiny wasn't really interested in watching it. I think she's only seen like the first one, but I am like a Jurassic Park freak. Love the movies. Always have since I was a little girl. This is actually Jurassic World, not Jurassic Park. Now I wonder if Destiny would go to the movies with Amber Lynn to see Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. I'd say she probably would if they had the opportunity. You know Destiny has to sit there and watch this movie with her. Yeah. I just had a salad at work that my co-worker made me. It was so good. I did take a picture and I can show you guys right here. That just looks like a pile of dressing. Maybe it's because it's so close up. All right, so this is what they do on their downtime at work. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even look like herself. Damn, there's a booger right there. <laughs> That's not going on. Oh Honey, my God, it's so gross. Why are you so gross? Great mark. Oh, tell everybody what today is. Six months. Six months what? Of being with you. How has it been? Fantastic. <laughs> Promise? Yep. How has it been?
been for you, Casey. It depends on what day it is. Hello, everybody. It's super cold outside and I'm off to work, so I put on this like sweater. I've had this sweater forever. It's pretty comfortable. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, everybody. We are January 5th was just a quick day. All right, so we're on to the trip. They're going to Alabama to go see some Star Wars. Destiny over here is obsessed with Star Wars. A movie theater there, it's in 3D. Yeah, it's in 3D. It's in 3D and 4D. 4D is like 3D, but also like the seats like move with it, with the movie. So she had to go do that. I'm not interested in Star Wars. I watched about 15 minutes of the first Star Wars and that was that. So I'm just gonna sit at a bookstore. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna write, you know, just kind of look around, maybe drink on a Starbucks drink. While she's watching the movie and then afterwards, I guess we're gonna go out to eat, to dinner. Our anniversary was on the 4th and we didn't get to do anything for that. Figured today, treat Destiny with a little 4D Star Wars. I can tell you're excited. So I'm here at Books A Million. I've been sitting here for over an hour. I'm like really liking it. I saw her post on Facebook and then on Snapchat that she was the only person in the theater and I was like, oh, I should have went with her, but just Star Wars is not my thing at all. Sorry. She said before that she's only watched like 15 minutes of one movie of Star Wars. She just doesn't want to try to learn more about Destiny's interests. So Bay's back and it was awesome. Today Becky and I are actually gonna go on a date. We're gonna go see a movie, but we both wanna see a date. <laughs> I love how perfect this is. They put this short in here right after the movie incident here where Destiny goes to the movies by herself. This one here, Becky and Amberlynn are gonna go see their own movies. Different movie. There's a movie that I've been wanting to see that she doesn't and then vice versa. So we're just gonna like sort of like see a different movie. All right, they're out for their anniversary dinner now. So where are we? At Lambert's. So we're at Lambert's. Supposedly there's only four in the whole United States. There's like four or five. They throw rolls at you and they're huge. I already ate like a piece of mine. They go around with like food and they like put it on your plate. Like I don't even know how to explain it. See that girl? She has a big thing of food and they just like put it on your plate. Guys, don't get to make fun of us, but our bed is currently on the floor. We don't have box springs. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> We're gonna put this in our room right now. We have a lot of heavy labor to do. Oh my gosh, this is such a big change from what we have currently. <laughs> we just have a small bed and this is king size. Like, Destiny, I think this might be California king by the measurements we just did. So we're fixing to be comfortable tonight. We're planning on getting box springs soon, hopefully. We're just gonna put the other bed in this corner in the living room for wasabi because we're, <laughs> we're those type of parents. But anyways, I have to go pee. Amberlynn's gonna get into explaining here why they no longer have a roommate. Twinkie! <gasps> Twinkie! <gasps> Twinkies! Oh, the baby! Come to mama! Come to mama! So I wanted to talk to you. She still hasn't told us that they have a new puppy. They just like, well, I guess she's not really a puppy at this point. She's like a couple years old. It's like the moment where she got the promise ring from Destiny in July of 2016. And she's like, I'll show you guys the gift that Destiny got us when we get home tonight. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys the anniversary gifts in yesterday's vlog, but today, if we remember, I'll show you. But yeah, we're in Goodwill right now. This is the furniture section, and it's kind of like... though because she wanted to do it like that certain way where destiny is putting the ring on her finger okay so <laughs> destiny got me a promise ring a promise ring let's see it is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen is it zooming in nah you can put it on my hands <laughs> it was honestly the sweetest thing ever the ring is just amazing but she'll show clips before that of the ring where she's like trying to be obvious that the fact that she's got this new ring on i'm like okay well want to come in and play uno so i've always been that girl whenever i'm playing cards with somebody i'm the one who does the shuffling because i just do it so well it's really not that hard i do make mistakes <laughs> whoops anyways i won 
I usually always do win. Solitaire is just one of them ones that I'm pretty good at. Anyway, we're getting into the roommate story here. Guys, about the truth about what is going on right now. It would just make you look very unresponsible. Like you can't, oh, through a whole contract without breaking it. That just, you don't want to break any type of contract. It's that simple. Eh. Fairy tale land completely stopped. So our roommate has this man friend. I don't even know if they're dating and I really don't think I care. She admitted that she's gonna be moving out because she wants to live with her boyfriend. And I was like, oh, okay. That's cool. It's late on her bills and saying she didn't have enough money for them yet. And my credit score has gone down because of her. <laughs> Yesterday we come home, we get a little note on our door saying that we have three days to pay the rent or we are evicted. That is honestly the truth of what is going on right now. I'm terrified. That's the truth of the matter. There you guys go. There we go. All right, so we have another Instagram post. They have the new bed all set up. The mattress, I think, is right on the floor. Okay, you guys are really just gonna have to accept the mess of our apartment right now. We're going through a shit ton with our roommate, absolutely moving everything out, us moving beds and going through stuff and packing and unpacking, and it's a whole thing. So she has a little hot dog machine. You put buns in it and hot dogs. Look at us, got little weenie crack catchers. <laughs> Just go, make that weenie. Put it in the freezer, and when you want a slice, just get it out. This will last months and months and months and months. Want some freezer burned bones? Remember when she started doing it? Like, I was like, ew, the bread is gonna taste stale, but it really doesn't. It's awesome. Destiny taught Amber Lynn that you can freeze bread. Two buns in, two wieners in. Ooh, it feels nice and toasty. It doesn't look like it, but it feels like it. So what do you think of it? Do you like it? Oh yeah, it's cool. That is cool. It's called that the pop-up hot dog toast. Her. All she puts on hers is ketchup. ketchup. Oh. Yeah, the whole house was living the bath. She, she was? She just sat there and wanted to be scrubbed, so I sat there and scrubbed her really good. Aw. We still give wasabi baths, like weekly. And we're gonna do the same for my my baby, Twinkie Star. And when she says us, she means destiny. I don't think they even show wasabi ever having a bath. You know, American Idols, this is the last season. Like, what? What? American Idols Bay, and now it's gone for life. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, I have a question. Is it possible that I can just call into work today because I am too freaking cold to go? Sheepers, sheepers. G56. Oh, 72. Oh, 72. And 44. They're doing something with the residents. That's nice. Destiny's currently out. She went to go see Star Wars again with one of the residents from where we work. And I just stayed home. I didn't really feel like going. I don't really, I'm not like interested in Star Wars. I've never really seen it before. I've seen like a half an hour of it one time. I watched about 15 minutes of the first Star Wars and that was that. About the whole eviction, am I getting evicted? I'm not as of right now. Destiny and I were able to pay the rent ourselves. I am a lot more responsible than I thought I would be living on my own like I knew I'd be responsible but I'm like probably too responsible like it's it's ridiculous I'm very very into saving money making sure we have the right amount of money for our bills planning our bills it's ridiculous Destiny put some more pictures up on our little bar because we don't sit on here so we just use it as like a place to put pictures this was her this is her and her best friend oh my gosh she looks so different now it's so funny this is her and another one of her really good friends she went to prom with her. They were just really good friends. Nothing, nothing romantical. Nothing like that. Hello everyone. Everyone's gonna answer some questions dressed as Wednesday Adams. I want to clarify a few things. I wonder if Destiny was just lonely so she grabbed a hold of the idea that you could come there quickly from Virginia and fill a void that she had from her past relationship or past letdowns in her life period. And you and her could just keep each other company and eat in the process. Does that make sense? No, it does does not make sense at all. Destiny is not with me to fill a void. I'm not with her to fill a void. 
grade when they started talking, Destiny was still dating Pookie, who was living in California. Things weren't working out with Pookie, so she started dating Amber Lynn, and then that's when Amber Lynn moved to Florida with her. The question was asking if she was trying to fill a void. There wasn't a physical void, as in she had a girlfriend living with her or close by, like it was over the phone and stuff. I think she went to visit her a couple times. But with Amber Lynn, it's more of a willingness to go be with her, whereas Pookie probably wasn't. Things became stronger and bigger and that is why I'm here. And you and her could just keep each other company and eat in the process. I don't know why you guys think we do nothing but eat because that's definitely not the case at all. There's a lot of food related content here. I understand that I'm gaining weight, but that's purely because of the fact that I will eat a large, super large portion at once. I understand that I show like food a lot in my vlogs. I could stop doing that. I'm showing us eating does not mean that's all we do. I've been watching for a while and noticed that Destiny is eating a lot lately too. I wondered if she was a binge eater also. I'm not sure what you guys are talking about. Destiny probably eats two to three times a day. She is actually a pretty decent eater. A lot of the time I'm showing something that she's like eating that's like kind of not healthy, but for the most part she does eat like a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I don't just sit there and show you guys that because I feel like I don't need to. She's never had an issue with food or an issue with weight, so her to lose weight, it's, it's hard for her because she's not used to that. She's not used to like, oh, she doesn't know nutrition like Amber Lynn does. It breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do. I'm gonna go count calories and lose weight and this and that. She's always just been a regular girl who was pretty thin until birth control came into her life. Someone asked if Destiny is a feeder. <laughs> this comment <laughs> literally made me laugh. If you guys don't know what a feeder is, it's someone who likes bigger women and who wants to feed them and watch them eat and buy them food, take them out to eat because it kind of like turns them on. It doesn't have to be like in a sexual way. Sometimes it is, but it just, they like bigger women and they like when women eat. My answer is destiny is when they first met and how tiny they both are compared to here. This is at Dana's apartment. Here is Dana and we end on this one not a feeder at all. Destiny wants me to lose this weight because I want to. She loves me as I am. She loves me as I am and who I is. This is who I is. Destiny likes how I look. She thinks I'm beautiful and she likes who I am, but of course she doesn't like that I am unhealthy. That aspect of it she doesn't like and she does not encourage it. Say I'm eating some ice cream or something. She will look at me and say, Amberlynn, you do not need that. And I will get mad at her because I will be like, you're not my mother. Like you don't tell me what to do. It's happens very frequently and it also happened with my ex-girlfriend crystal it happened with crystal and then it's gonna happen with becky and you know what it probably happened with wifey as well if i would tell my mother you know don't take those pills don't do that mess don't take that cocaine don't do speed don't do this don't do that she'd look at me and be like this is none of your concern like i make my own choices that's kind of where i'm at but with food so is that where she learned it from then is that some learned behavior destiny tries her hardest to help me but there's only so much she can do it, it bottom line comes down to me. I believe that everything is in moderation and if I could literally eat nothing but dairy all day, as long as I ate at a calorie amount to where I could lose weight, I would lose weight. If I was eating pizza, if I was eating Twinkies, Oreos, Doritos, ramen noodle, it does not matter no matter what I'm eating. She says that but she doesn't see herself gaining all this weight while she's doing that but still thinks that she can lose the weight. I want you guys to know I am the queen of knowing this, that you can lose weight no matter what you're eating as long as you're eating the right amount of calories it doesn't have to be healthy it doesn't have to be unhealthy for me right now what i am purely trying to do is just lose weight i don't care what i'm eating i understand i need to be healthy but you need to know that no matter how i lose this weight as long as i lose this weight i will slowly gradually become healthier and then I will worry about, okay, maybe I shouldn't eat ice cream all the time or I could start choosing fruit instead. One room is going to be rented for half of the rent and the other room is going to be rented for half of the rent. So let's say the rent is $1,000 a month. They split it two ways for each room. The roommate's paying $500 and then Destiny and Amberlynn have to pay $500. So that means that Destiny is paying $250, Amberlynn's paying $250, and the roommate's paying $500. No wonder she was like, yeah, this isn't a great idea, but I mean, why would she agree to that in the first place? Whether our ex-roommate brought in her sister and her boyfriend and they all shared a room, we wouldn't all be split in it five ways because there's not five rooms. There's two rooms. The roommate and her sister and her boyfriend
then would all be splitting half of the rent between the three of them. So I hope that makes sense. A lot of you are asking about two. We're gonna meet Twinkie Star. She's gonna explain to us uh, how they got Twinkie. Not exactly yet. Destiny eventually explains that later on in the month, but she's just gonna kind of explain that Twinkie's their new dog. Twinkie Star. I have not really mentioned this beautiful bundle of love. Twinkie Star is our dog forever and ever, and I'm super excited. She is three years old. She has all her shots, all her medications done. She is fixed. She is perfect as ever. Once she got to know Destiny and I, like she is like glued to our hip, and she is so. So, so perfect. Look how sweet. Ooh, I felt a rain. What do you call him? The shake? Guys, we got, we got to go. This is the type of shit from the Satan Day. We are heading to infamous. the infamous Walmart. We've got to go food shopping. Whoa! We just got done running a couple errands. Destiny's currently going into Walmart for just one thing. I actually think I'm going to be getting insurance. My boss told me that she will actually see if she can give me more hours just so I can pay for the insurance. So that is amazing. It's one of the best insurances. I'm really excited because I really need insurance everybody does. I really want to like have a doctor. I want to see a nutritionist and I want to go to therapy and there's just a lot of things that this insurance will allow me to do. I don't think she does any of that before they move to Kentucky in June. After Destiny gets out of Walmart, we're gonna go home and relax. I'm gonna watch Pretty Little Freaking Liars and I'm so freaking excited. You guys have no idea. I'm like probably the biggest Pretty Little Liar fan there is in the whole world. I'm super excited. Ah! Taking the Twinster for some potty time. Oh, there's a good spot. Good spot. No, no. Go potty. I noticed too when Destiny takes Twinkie out, she's usually on a leash, whereas Amber Lynn's like, most people don't even have their dogs on a leash when they let them out, so Twinkie's not on a leash. What are you doing with tampons, boxers, underwear, a blanket, towels? What are you doing vlogging it? A freaking whatever that is. It's for your knee. What are you doing? Tell everybody. I'm cleaning this room and making it my own. Oh, whatever. So this is our roommate's room. Not anymore. She has a lot of stuff still in here and it's what? like a mess that's and my stuff. stuff. Oh, that's yours? That's all trash. Oh. <laughs> that box is from what my mom brought us. That box is from me. But this is, this is hers. That's the only thing that's hers. And that pile of crap. stuff. Destiny's just trying to do her own thing. She color coordinates her closet. Which one would it have? Ties. Ooh. I love you so much, beautiful girl. Happy birthday and many, many, many more. I love Destiny. Drawer in the nightstand. This one? <laughs> if this is all you're going to be wearing? Yep. Oh, shit. It's getting kinky up in here. Now, to other things. <laughs> Very nice. It's a deer antler. Ah, uh, yes, this is when Berlin learns that Twinkie can play fetch. She doesn't know what to do with that. She's too precious here. Look at her. Oh, oh what is this? It's an underwear butthole. Go get it over there. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh, she plays fetch! Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. notice! Yeah. Go get it! You do it, baby. Take it to her! Come yeah. here! Twinkle, twinkle! Here, come get it! Oh, 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 oh! Look, look, look! Oh, yeah! Amberlynn started Weight Watchers again in January. Hello everybody and welcome to week one of my Weight Watchers weigh-in. Cook is out today so they have Amberlynn, Destiny, and their friend Casey in the kitchen cooking. I just need to show you what is occurring. We are making a, I mean I helped a little bit, I'm be doing the sprinkles. We're making like a ice cream cake for the residents and here are all the sprinkles. I'm doing the sprinkle part. So, 
have these ice cream sandwiches, some whipped cream, graham cracker, ice cream sandwich again, then there'll be whipped cream, and then some more sprinkles. So that is occurring right now. And Casey's over here making some hamburgers. They're having like a chicken pot pie thing. We're gonna Thanks. put, well, it's like a stir soup. While you're in this. It's like a soup. And we're gonna put it on the biscuits. Looks super good. I get way too excited over the smallest thing. I add color to everything. residents who all drink something completely different. I think there's only two options. Which I have memorized. So that's good. You guys ready? Because I'm ready. Ice, drink, the whole nine yards. So this is currently occurring. We just watch what Amberlynn does for work in those four hours that she's working. That and probably the cleanup of the dining room. It's kind of hard. <laughs> it's trying to be under the umbrella together. Oh, geez. Oh, We have a flying fruity pebble, room seven, room seven. We have a spoiled flower, a spoiled flower in room 79, 79. <laughs> what are you doing? No. So this is what we do at work. <laughs> Just don't get it in my water, like. That stuff smells so good. Yeah, this seems about right. You're too cute. Casey, isn't she cute? Did you see what I just did? Our rent is a lot over a thousand and that's purely just rent. It's over a thousand dollars. We don't have a roommate. We're paying all the bills ourselves now. I figured it out. I'm, I'm, I'm mighty fine.